Where do you live? In a city, a town, the country? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a boy or a girl in some land far away? Far away across rivers and prairies, mountains and valleys, even across the sea? New friends to meet, new games to play, new songs to sing? Well, close your eyes and we'll take off on the happiest cruise that ever sailed. Now, open them. You see, it's a small world after all. Suddenly we're at the top of the world. The Scandinavian countries where in summertime the sun shines even at night. You'd have so much time to play and go ice skating. If you were a boy in England, maybe someday you'd grow up to be a guard at the Queen's Palace. And all day long you'd hear Big Ben, England's most famous clock, striking each quarter hour. And where do you think you'd hear this sound? Where else but in Holland, where everyone wears wooden shoes. And you'd watch the big windmills turn, and in winter you'd go skating on the rivers and canals all around you. The canals of Venice never freeze. This is a sunny land where many of the streets are waterways. Taxi cabs are little boats called gondolas. Let's pretend you're a gondolier and you're giving all your friends a ride. If you were a girl in Belgium, perhaps you'd tend the geese on your father's farm or make the beautiful bobbin lace that Belgian girls have made for years. Maybe you and your friends, and the geese too, would sing, It's a Small World. No gayer place in the world than Paris, France. Look, is that you up there dancing the can-can? Twirl, up and down and twirl. Did you ever think you'd be a Cossack dancer doing a Russian dance called the Kopak? The sound echoes from the onion-shaped spires of an ancient Russian church. If you were a Japanese boy or girl, you'd leave your shoes at the front door and put on soft slippers called Zori. Instead of sitting on chairs, you'd sit on small, flat pillows with your feet tucked under you. How would you like to live in Cambodia and wear the lavish costume of a dancer, gold and silk with sparkling accents of rhinestones? And do you suppose each night your mother would say, please hang up your new clothes, dear? Yes, it is a small world. Now we're in India. And could that possibly be you charming that cobra with the music of your flute? Sure enough, it is you. And the snake seems very happy with the tune you're playing. Or maybe while you're still in India, you'd rather ride a water buffalo. He's very slow, but he's very dependable. And of course, since you've trained him, he knows and loves you and answers your every command. It's fiesta time in Brazil. You're wearing a huge straw hat and carrying a basket full of flowers. All around you in the marketplace, people are dancing and singing and thinking of the good things they'll soon be eating. And now here you are in a fancy dress ball of children and animals from all over the world. Even penguins from the South Pole. And Indians and cowboys from guess where? The greatest place of all. Home. <laughs> 